Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another session on Easy PLC. Welcome to the session number four of PLC training. So let's go to the program and we are going to program something what we call it latch concept. Before that, I will definitely tell you what is exactly a problem and why we need this latching concept. In this session, we are going to talk about the latch concept. Before that, we have to understand why we need a latch concept where exactly we apply that what is the real problem in industry which we have to sort out by using latch concept for that we are going to take a normally open contact here giving us i'm gonna give i 0.0 input that is coming from the push button no type we have discussed in the last class we have the same hardware so we're gonna use that same example and i'm gonna take output here you might be seeing that we are talking about same inputs and outputs believe me the next thing that is coming up would be very interesting for you step by step you will understand the real concept of plc programming so stay connected i'm gonna download this program here it's just gonna override because we are already connected now it's already downloaded and it's the time now to simulate the real issue what is going on So I'm gonna take this on online view. You can see now from the input point of view, from the field point, I'm going to see something on PLC. Now we are back to the real hardware. So now I'm gonna just click on this button. This is I0.0. .0. When I will press this I0.0, .0, you have seen that. At that particular moment, we have output. So when I release the button, at the same time, our output is also not there. So this is something that we have to make sure in our program, even if we press this button just for one second, it, this output should be still on. This is the concept I'm talking about. This is what I'm going to talk about in today's class, where we will program in a such a way, if even we press this button for a millisecond, just for like this, output should on until we press the stop button. So how are we going to do it? Let's go back to the programming. Now I'm gonna just add another branch here. So and then we will be adding in parallel. This is very important to understand. What is that actually? So we are gonna take Q0.0 .0 here. So we are going to take this Q0.0 .0 as a feedback. Now they, I will be talking this concept in detail step by step. We will be creating a problem and then solving solving the problem so that you understand what is going on. Now we have a scenario when we will press this I0.0 .0 button, I0.0 .0 push button, then our output will be on. Even for a millisecond it would be on, but we because we are using this in a parallel to that input. And now in that case, even our input is not there, still we will be getting this loop closed and our output would be high. I'm just going to show you. In that particular network, there is one issue. I will be showing you when we will do the simulation. So we are taking a normally open contact of our output. When out would be output would be high even for a millisecond, it would be acting as a feedback. So when we will press this I0.0 .0 button, at the same time our output is high output normally open contact we are using as a feedback in parallel to the input so even now this even this circuit is open i know for for millisecond we press this i0.0 .0 button and after that this is open circuit but this path is still closed we are managing to get the output by that way there is real issue in that particular network i'm gonna explain you step by step everything first we will be creating the problem i'm gonna show you the problems and then we're gonna sort it out now let's go back to hardware simulation so for that i have to first download this program just for a second and now we are going to take this online here we go so when i am pressing this button our output is high even you see that i remove my hand from this push button still our output is on we have a real issue here what is that now how to turn off this output 
For that, what we have to do? We have to have uh, some other button. This should be start and some other stop button should be there to do so. So now let's, let's go to back to the programming and do some magic there. In the simulation, you can see also when we press the button at the same time, we have our output high. When our output is high, we are using a feedback of that output as a normally open contact in parallel, in parallel to our input. You have seen that this circuit is open here. The, from, the, from, from the input point of view, if you see this straight line, from here on, this circuit is open. But we have a parallel connection to that, which is a feedback, out, feedback of output that is making that circuit close and we are getting the output so this is very interesting thing but we have a real issue here how to sort it out we have to first go back to normal uh, programming mode and now we have to have uh, something here so now we are going to use another push button i0.1 so now we this is our stop bit remember we have discussed about i0.1 which is coming from the normally closed contact so i'm gonna just take a normally open contact of that into the programming and this is going to be as a stop bit for us this one is now acting as a start and this is going to be stop so what we can do here we can play with that also i'm not going to talk about this thing you can change it you can change it to start and this can be stop just to make your understanding very clear this would be start and this would be stop now our program is ready i'm just gonna download this project for a second so that you can understand that now our project is ready let's go back to the online view and go back to simulator you have seen this this guy is still on right we have to turn it off so i program this normally closed type of push button into the plc and that is acting as a stop stop button so when i will press this button for a second even this will open that circuit and i will definitely show you how it works in a programming point of view but when i'm gonna press this this should close this circuit this should turn off this light i'm just going to do the same thing now you have seen that output is gone so when i press this i 0.0 again this is latched and it's going this light is still on q0.0 what we call it in the program q0.0 is on and when i'm going to press this stop button it is going to turn it off so i hope you understand that but now we are going to do the same thing into the programming so when i'm pressing this button you have seen that i0.0 when i press this button q0.0 is on into the program in the simulation you can see so from the because we are using output q0.0 as a feedback to the input so it is on but now to close that circuit we have another contact there which is actually coming normally close from the field so in normal condition that would be closed when we are going to press that it is definitely going to open that circuit like i'm just going to show you now i'm pressing this i0.1 which is a stop bit stop button from the field you will see that this circuit will this circuit will be open and in that condition we will have no output that's all for today if you like this video hit the like button if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel consider subscribing till next video take care and allah is